That's what we do. We have to go back to back, lock arms, and then spin around. Where you guys wouldn't understand. Because force is so constantly changing, and we can't control the environment we're in, meaning we can't tr control who goes in front of our muzzle and who doesn't. We don't have any control. We don't control our environment. What we can control is our muzzle. We can always control our muzzle. So that is why that first rule of muzzle and safe direction is so very important. Because sometimes that's the only control that we have in a force, situ in a force situation. That's it. Totally empty. Uh, with the exception, because you got the Smith, because it's California, so blah, 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 whatever. So, I'm coming here, we're just dry practicing. The same thing that we did back there with the numbers, you're doing the numbers in your head, going at whatever pace you want. If you want to make it a nice smooth motion, cool. If you want to do the sequence and come out, that's fine. All you're doing for this first drill is for uh, two minutes or so, draw, present, click, reset slide, Bolster, chill, reset, draw, present, click, reset, slide, holster, chill. On the command of begin, for about uh, uh, maybe two minutes or so, on your own, draw, present, acquire a sight picture, dry fire, reset your slide, holster, reset yourself, do it again. Begin. Think about what your grip is doing. Think about the technique of your draw stroke. Think about where your finger placement is when you are drawing the pistol from the holster. Prepare a three-round magazine. On the command of fire, we will repeat the drill. You will give me three dry rounds, three live rounds, and three dry rounds in the top left circle. Are there any questions? There are no questions. The line is ready. Shooter's ready. Stand by. Fire. Three dry, dry rounds. Top left. Nice and smooth. Really focus on that trigger squeeze. Check your grip before you pull the trigger. Make sure your hands are aligned. See your space. Shoot your eyes. A quick glance over here. Make sure that space is clean. So we'll slide this hand back a little bit. Put that finger under the trigger guard. There you are. I got you, Dad. Or we're gonna leave it like we're gonna fight. There we are. Finish the drill with three rounds. Excuse me, three dry rounds. Finish your drill with three dry rounds. I call this the haiku drill. So our first two groupings are gonna be five yards. Then we're gonna move our barrels back to the seven yard line. We're gonna shoot our bottom two groupings. Then we're gonna come back to the five yard line. Shoot the five yard. This will be a five yard. So we go five, seven, five. Marketing, man. I thought of that years ago. I felt like a genius when I was like, Bro, no one does that, that's so great, I'm so smart. So what we're gonna get out of this drill is we're gonna baseline our five yard groupings. So we're gonna get our first, pretty much our first cold shots of the day, check it against a second group of data. We're gonna go back to seven yards, do the same thing, get a baseline at seven yards and reconfirm again at seven yards on a different target. And then we come back at five yards and recheck. Stand by. Fire. One dry, one smooth dry fire. After that, go hot, low, low, five live. Nice and slow, top right. On the command of fire, 
you will draw and fire, strong hand only, five round center mass. Draw and fire, that's it. You're not using your support hand at all. Draw and fire. Are there any questions? Shooters ready, stand by. Fire! Because if I am left-handed and I want to switch to my right hand, I keep control of the pistol with my three fingers under the trigger guard. That's why I always teach the kind Keep a good grip, it requires control. I drop my thumb back. Whee! Now my pistol is only being supported by these three fingers. My right hand or my support hand comes up, thumb touches thumb, and I close grip. All I'm doing is dropping my thumb back, shooting that other hand in, and closing the grip around it. That's it. Easiest way I know how to teach that. On the command of fire, draw, Switch hands, shoot, switch back, clear, holster. Are there any questions? Shooters are ready, stand by. Fire! Demoing with my airsoft pistol. The kneeling position really ain't that much different in some aspects than the two-handed shooting. Here's what I like to do. Here's what I did in competition and you know, quality and all that stuff. If my two-hand shooting position looks like this, well then I can easily do a kneeling position like this. Did I really change anything? I mean, I'm shorter, so maybe I can't ride all the rides, but I haven't really changed anything as far as my fundamentals. Practice getting in and out of the kneeling position. You don't like that, do you? Fire! Draw. Kneeling. On the command of fire, three rounds and three rounds only. Stand by. Fire. Nice and quick. Stand by. Fire. Especially if we're in a qual scenario, where we have to meet X amount of shots accurately X amount of time, dudes rush it. That's why like if you come out here on a qual day uh, or like on a range day where I'm teaching permit stuff, watch dudes, or if you if you recall with someone else and they have other shooters, watch how fast they shoot this course of fire. They will blow through those six shots inside of 15 seconds because they're not taking the time to understand what time management is and a qualification is like, bro, I gotta train as I fight, I gotta get, no, 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 no. This is, you're taking a test. You're not training, you're taking a test. The training should have happened before you took the test. So all we're doing is getting used to what 30 seconds feels like two hands standing. Fire, hands go up, on target. 25 seconds left, 20 seconds left, 15 seconds left, 10 seconds left, five, four, three, two, one, cease fire, cease fire. We'll do that again. You're gonna have 25 seconds to shoot five rounds. That's still five seconds per shot. Fire! 20 seconds left. 